hiring all the best crew, having all the best toys in the world, the swimming pool, the spa facilities, all that is great. But without one vital component, this yacht's not going anywhere. Welcome to the engine room. This series of videos has us in a shipyard where a lot of work is being done on a vessel which most people would normally never get the opportunity to see. So you as a viewer must not expect to see a perfect vessel in this series, but rather... This is what the crew do all day during the yard. The engineering department consists of three people, a chief engineer, a second engineer, and an ETO. Hi, my name's Ken. I'm the rotational chief engineer on board the Axioma, and I'm from England. I first went to sea in 1992 as a cadet, and then I spent many of my years on smaller vessels and larger vessels, deep sea, and I ended my career over in deep sea on cruise ships, where I spent 14 years. Then in 2012, after achieving my chief engineer's unlimited license, I came across two private yachts. I've served on three private yachts, Axioma being my third one, trying to gain more experience and more knowledge each time so I can apply it to the vessel so that we have a continued uninterrupted service. So on board, all the equipment on board is maintained by the engineers on board or outside contractors. We have a system on board called planned maintenance and in a nutshell it's designed that you fix it before it breaks. For example, the four generators that I mentioned earlier, they've just had a recent 12,000 hour overhaul which consists of cylinder head change, camshaft change, new liners, new pistons, new piston rods, new crank bearings and all of this is designed so that the engines will run reliably until our next 12,000 hour overhaul. In our next refit we'll be doing the same to the main engines where it might be a major job where all the cylinder heads will come out camshafts will come out and they'll all be renewed. Other equipment on board is comes up on a schedule, whether it be hourly or whether it be on a daily basis, we'll be instructed and then we'll maintain that equipment with the spares we have on board or the spares that we can buy ashore. Through our planned maintenance system, we make sure that the engines and the generators are reliable. So whenever we have charter guests come on board, that we have no disruption of service and that we go from A to B without incident and that everything on board works all the time. All the toys on board, such as the two sit-down jet skis, one stand-up, um, the Castoldi tender, the Zodiac tender, and depending on which continent we're in, the Zodiac or the other tenders, we maintain them as much as possible. So whether that just be a mechanical service, whereby you change filters and oil, or any breakdown services like the electrical side of things. We as the engineering team between the Chief, Second and ETO, we're the ones who look after all this all the time. On board Axioma, we have two main engines, which are Caterpillar 3516. They develop 2,350 horsepower each at 1,800 RPM. We also have four generators. They're Caterpillar C9. They develop 215 kilowatts at 1,500 RPM. The maximum speed that we can achieve with the main engines is 18 knots, but normally economical speed is about 13 knots. With the engines running at full speed, we'd run about 20,000 liters a day. So at economical speed, we're running nearer 10,000 litres a day.
we have two water makers on board. The combined output of those two water makers is 1.24 meters cubed per hour. That's 1,240 liters an hour. And the water that's made then goes through a filter, a silver sterilizer, and a UV sterilizer before it goes into our system. If we take water from shoreside, we also use a softener and a particle filter. On board Axioma, to make things comfortable, we have four stabilizers made by Quantum. These are zero speed stabilizers, so whether we're traveling through the water or sitting alongside an anchor, then we will not move much. Axioma normally goes into two refits per year as a standard thing. This is outside of our normal requirements for like, for example, a five year or 10 year services. We do this so we can maintain parts of the vessel that would be impossible to maintain if we had guests on board. An example being the firefighting system. We tried to change that and update it and keep it up in working order, but without affecting any guest experiences. Um, during the refit periods, we'll do other works which require that engines and main and generators be shut down. These we can't do during charter, but in refit periods it's essential, so we do it then. So after we come out of refit, we offer a better vessel than when we first came in. As part of our maintenance system, we take logs, and those logs consist of temperatures and pressures of all the vital equipment on board. We do this on a daily basis, and at sea, when we're sailing, we do it six times a day. We do this so we can get a trend, a history of what's going on. If there's a problem, we'll see those, those figures change from day to day, and we can address those problems before something happens that we can't fix. So basically, we're looking for a pattern so we fix it before it breaks. My name's Jared, I'm Jay, a new uh, ETO on board. Um, I've been here just over a week now, I'm just out, currently having a handover with a, a previous Salco and ETO. Um, yeah, I've done uh, five years in the cruise industry with Princess Cruises and um, two years on a, a larger yacht, 120 metre. Looking forward to learning the new systems on Axioma. Yeah, so I, I've just um, jumped into a, a busy yard period now and um, a, a recently they've had um, uh, 20 new uh, wireless access points uh, for the internet. So now there's no, no blind spots on the, on the ship and obviously this is not possible to, to do when the, when the guests are on board because it involves bringing the, the deck head panels down, running new network cables, so the only, only uh, option is in the dry dock really. Also, uh, a new uh, K&X upgrade for the lighting and blinds in the owner's area. Um, still in the programming stages at the minute, but it's looking, looking good so far. On the iPad in the, in the guest cabins, um, we can control everything from uh, lighting, uh, ventilation, uh, blinds, uh, the, the media system on board, um, music, and uh, satellite TV. Um, so I'm responsible for all electrical, AVIT and communication system on board and, uh, and, and the day the day to day can, can really vary. I will start off with some, uh, some video editing in the morning. The uh, deck hands will be going ashore with the, with the guest. Uh, they're going to be uh, filming on, on the drone, uh, GoPros on whatever activities they're going to do in the day. And then I'll grab that off them every evening then and just upload the content to my laptop and, and start uh, an edit every day. End of the chart, and then I'm gonna put the content on a on a pen drive for the guests and give them some nice memories to leave with. A huge thank you to the chief engineer for showcasing his space and for giving us a tour of the engine room. Uh, a big thank you to everybody that was a part of this process so far. Smash that subscribe button, be sure to have a look at the rest of the series of Modiot Axioma. Follow Chef Dean and myself as well as Axioma for all the behind the scenes content. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Ciao.
Thank you.